Hello everyone, welcome back to the Opulent Life in this new year with Ozzy again and today we are doing a perfume review. Uh, this one is an old classic that I picked up on a great deal from fragrancenet.com and when I opened the box up this was in there. So the box itself unfortunately had some water damage because of my own mistake so I got rid of that. I didn't think it would be nice to have that on camera so got rid of it and instead I just took out the contents for you guys but I'll make sure it's a true unboxing don't worry so yes yeah, so we've got this from fragrance net I'll disclose about the deal that I got later but this uh, card came with it it just asks you to follow their social media pages and fragrance.com on the opposite side it just says you can have this 25% coupon code off your next order and uh, they're just giving you a thank you to uh, purchasing from them. All right, good. So this is the perfume in question. We bought the Burberry Brit for him. Coming back to that in a second. We also got in the packaging this $20 off coupon code if you purchase any of these fragrances that they are promoting right now. Quest, Vision, never heard of these, but look they look interesting might give them a try sometime and all of this booklet has samplers inside it so you can just check it out and smell and see which one you might fancy trying i haven't tried them yet so i'm not sure but it's good that they've given you this booklet with some samples in it so you can decide which one you want to try out and then you have the 20 dollar off coupon so that's pretty good all very good nice marketing stuff let's put this to the side here and focus on our main perfume here which is the Burberry Brit for him I fancy trying uh, back in the day at least like 10 15 years ago was the first time I actually tried this on but I never bought it because I felt it was too mature for me at the time but now well, I'm in my 30s so I think this is a uh, now it's the right time to try it but yeah so at that time, this was launched in 2004 actually so it's, 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 it's been around and the original packaging was much more different than what you're seeing right now right now they've gone with a more modern look and i think they redesigned the fragrance itself too but yeah originally it was released in 2004 and in 2005 it won two awards as well so basically the awards were uh, the Fifi Award Best National Advertising Campaign and the other award was the Fifi Award Fragrance of the Year Men's Lux category 2005. So this is this was a heavy hitter back in the day. I don't know if there's any renewed interest these days but it's certainly by a very popular brand. It's a very popular cologne and uh, from what I remember trying it back in the day I really liked it but I just held back because I think it was too mature for me at the time. So this is what it is. It comes in this classic Burberry checker pattern. -y. A lot of gray and ash gray, dark tones being used. The font itself is in silver with a mirrored finish. It says Burberry Brit for him. They also have a female version, Burberry Brit for her. There's a lot of Burberry Brit versions. There's Burberry Brit Rhythm, Burberry Brit Splash, Burberry Brit for her, Burberry Brit London. So there's an endless, this whole brand, Brit has become a brand in itself, other than Burberry being the main brand. The Brit series has a lot of different spin-offs, so you can try. I'm, I'm pretty sure there is a Burberry Brit for everyone. There is definitely, if you don't like this one, there'll be another one that you guys will definitely like. So try out all the variations and see which one suits you the best, and then go for it. But let's look at this original one first right now. So on the front page, nothing else more. I brought the 100 milliliter 3.3 fluid ounce bottle it's an eau de toilet not an eau de parfum but i will tell you guys it used to smell very strong in the day i don't know what they've done with any reformulations if any but we'll try it out in a second on the sides of the box you have this silver mirror finish on the top and bottom same thing silver mirror finish top just says the same name burberry brick for him the bottom just has some regulatory markings this one is actually made in germany rather than France. Most perfumes that I have are made in France, but this one made in Germany. There's the barcode, the batch code. I checked the batch code on checkcosmetic.net. Looks like it's a fresh fragrance, uh, just manufactured six months ago in June 2020. So 
it's not a stale batch i i always recommend you using that website check cosmetic.net to see especially if you're purchasing from gray market dealers uh whether the perfume is fresh it's not been sitting around their inventory for years and years and years because at that point you know regardless of the discount it's useless it's not going to work it's not going to project it's not going to have any ci it's not going to have any longevity so you're basically just uh, flushing your money down the toilet so best to check and if it's not within the last three to five years return it if possible and get your money back so i i tip, tip, typically prefer it to be within the last three years but if it's a really good discount really, really deep discount i'll stretch it back to around five years but, but older than that fragrances don't typically last or work really well unless it's a very concentrated oil but then again you run the risk of it being spoiled over the years due to temperature differences or whatever and then that can make it uh, smell really nasty so i either way make sure it's a fresh fragrance guys all right so that's the packaging i do like the design overall it's very classy very uh, very, I mean, you can tell from a mile away that this is a Burberry fragrance just from this checkered markings. It's their classic signature marking. You can't go wrong with it. Again, it has the ingredients on the back. Yeah, so let's open it up, guys. Typical perfume packaging. You have a black cardboard box inside that has a fragrance. I know the bottle has been redesigned, so. All right, so let's talk about that then. So here's the bottle, does not have Burberry or Burberry Brit written on it, just has the classic checkered design on this glass bottle which has kind of a gray tone. The liquid inside itself is more of a lavender tone but the bottle gives it a gray hue. It looks pretty nice, has a glass acrylic plastic type top. On the bottom again you have the batch code 100ml made in Germany written written that it's flammable and uh, yeah it's got a decent weight it's a pretty standard bottle it's nothing groundbreaking but from a mile away you can tell it's Burberry Brit I like the fact that they didn't even bother writing Burberry Brit for him because they just want you to assume that this is Burberry Brit for him they want you to know that when you bought this you don't need it to be written over here the sign should tell all of that to you guys just by looking at it so nice touch of attitude there in the design guys I do like this glass top it's a bit hard to get off but once you get it off very light cuboidal design nice secure click yeah they're doing away with trying to get away with as less metal as possible only a chrome top finish over here so it doesn't get spoiled but yeah pretty good nice design easy to use Let's take a spray and see how it feels. So let's get this straight. Spray on the wrist. Let's do one more. Let's do one on the other side too. All right, let's see. All right, so overall it feels like a very warm, spicy, oriental, woody fragrance. Just by its top notes, uh, you can sense some rose in there. And basically, yeah, so Going in detail, top notes are basically, you get ginger, cardamom, green mandarin, and bergamot. So those are the top notes when you first get that smell as soon as you spray on it. After a while, uh, getting to the heart of the fragrance, you have some wild rose, nutmeg, cedar, and some spice, more of those spicy notes. And really when the dry down starts happening after a while, you can sense the tonka bean in there, the cedar, gray musk, oriental woodsy notes such as patchouli. So yeah, so it takes a while for you to kind of completely assess this perfume. There's not a lot of citrus in there, there's barely any wood in the beginning. There's more spices, they're kind of, the cardamom I think is a little bit overpowering in this one compared to the one I smelled 15 years ago. That one was more citrusy, more lemony, more woody. This one is more towards the spice and they've kind of toned down the lemon, I think, which is okay. I mean, it was pretty mature at that time too, but now by doing this kind of reformulation, I believe this is even more uh, woody now. It's even more 
sorry, not Rudy, this is even more mature now. So yeah, so this, I see this being worn by mostly guys in their mid to late 30s or 40s, maybe the 50s, but younger guys, I don't think it's really for them unless you're like super mature or ahead of your time. But yeah, so definitely I sense a reformulation. I I know for, uh, for a fact that it smelled very different back then, or it could just be my, uh, not, my, my nasal receptors have changed as well, you know. That may be a possibility, but usually I tend to remember the fragrance very well. And this time I'm having a tough time uh, figuring out whether this was the actual fragrance I smelled back in the day. I definitely feel there's been a change. They've changed the bottle, but a lot of people change the bottle, but they keep the formulation the same. But in this case, the formulation seems to have had some kind of reissue in between. The original one was made by perfumer Antoine Massandio, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And that was a really big sensation. I don't know if this one's gonna be as big of a sensation, but let's let us let's, uh, let's see the uh, how it pairs out in the long run. It's definitely, the name, it does hold true to the name, Brit. It's very British, this perfume. Very, very, you know, very, it has that feeling of arrogance in it. <laughs> it's very, really like, you know, uh, cutthroat and you know caught up I don't know how to describe it I think the right way to say it would be that it's very stiff it's very stiff it's almost as if it wants to overpower you a little bit it can be a little bit offensive maybe I think the when the once the dry down sets in it's much nicer I think immediately if you spray it can be a little bit off-putting so I would not recommend that you put this perfume just 10 minutes before you go into any kind of occasion like even office wear or just like a party it can be very overpowering up in your face so I definitely recommend put this on like 30 45 minutes before you go into any event so that the dry once the dry down comes in all of the notes are kind of more standing out on their own and not overpowering each other and then it becomes more of a nice blend and i'm smelling it right now it's definitely feeling much better after the first initial impression of the spray i yeah for that reason i would recommend just you know don't bathe yourself in this perfume put like two three you know sprays and that should be good especially in the winter time this is definitely designed for fall winter wear i will say this it's more it's not a it doesn't give a summer vibe to it by any means evening wear winter wear fall perfect occasions now like i said you know don't apply it on the spot apply it before and you should be good should smell very pleasant in that way uh, i'm not so sure some people may not like to wear this to the office can be very uh, depending on your profession can be very off-putting or offensive if you are a heavy sprayer like I am so for that reason I would recommend you know use it conservatively use it conservatively in conservative type of settings and uh, not so much in the office maybe just reserve it for evening wear for parties and occasions so that's my take on it but if you guys like to use it in a different way power to you guys man so out of curiosity I did check the forums and it looks like people have the same complaint as I do regarding the reformulation it seems like people who tried it way back in 2004 and 5 like I did and are now buying the newer versions because they loved it back in the day are saying that this new version is not just a read cosmetic redesign it is an actual reformulation design with the same name which is kind of sad because I like the original version a lot more and I can tell you even though this one is good I think I'll be able to use it fine it's not the same scent that I smelled 15 years ago. And I remember if it was a foreign trip, I tried it at a duty-free uh, shop and I really loved it that time, but didn't buy it because I thought, you know, maybe it's a mature for me. But if this was there instead of the fragrance that I had tried, I probably would not have even bothered to, you know, buy it after all this time. The only reason I bought it right now is because I had good memories of it back then. But um, yeah, sad to see they reformulated it. I, I don't understand why they did that because 
it won awards it was great back in the day why change a winning design not sure but yeah a lot of people are seeing in the forums on fragrance and for granted got that you know they, they sense the change that the old one was more powdery this one is more more offensive more in your face like it's like almost as if someone took a fancy cigar and just blew it on your face like immediately <laughs> oh my god so yeah i mean it doesn't say i don't think there's actually any tobacco in the here but the when it, you first smell the cardamom can be so strong it can almost smell like a cigar now yeah so keep that in mind when you buy this one i would recommend if you're not familiar with uh, their fragrances do try them out all of burberry's fragrances are not very good i tried mr burberry terrible fragrance i hate it and i think they tried to borrow some of those elements from the mr burberry and put that into this one and i i don't think it worked very well but anyway it's not terrible it's still pretty good i think it's gonna have moderate longevity moderate to long lasting longevity so that's a good performance factor it's gonna have a very good moderate again moderate to strong sillage not very strong but like just strong enough uh, for you for it to last the day I think if you apply this in the morning it should last till evening or till the end of working hours at least or maybe I this is not one of those perfumes that I would carry around for a booster spray I think the dry down is a lot better than the initial spray factor so uh, keep that in mind and use it wisely and you should be good so that was my review of this uh, Burberry Brit perfume uh, now I'm gonna tell you the deal that I got I got this from fragrancenet.com for $31 so that's a steel deal guys originally this perfume was much more expensive the retail price was around is around $65 but I remember it being even higher than that I remember that the retail price of this one somewhere hovered in the $80 mark as well so that 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 was very high but now they kind of slashed on the retail because it's an older model probably so initially their discount the standard discount on fragrance net was pushing this bottle down to $44.99. But then there was this 25% off coupon that you can use, it was because of the holidays, that slashed the price down even more to around 30, 31 to $32 mark. And then obviously then the shipping and everything added it back up to around the $40 range. So that's how much I got it for. And I think that's a pretty good deal. It's a pretty decent deal. So yeah, so that's how much I got it for around the $40 mark after shipping and handling for this 100 milliliter bottle. Very good uh, value, I believe. On Amazon, it's much ex more expensive. I think it's hovering in the $70 range for some reason. But no need to pay that much. This is definitely not worth that much. I would not pay more than $30 to $40 for this bottle. In that range, it's good. If there's a market shortage and prices go back up, I would recommend waiting on it or trying a different fragrance there's tons of them out there and you don't need to overpay on this one at least i believe so so hope you guys enjoyed this review please make sure to like share and subscribe we are now at 100 subscribers so thank you all for the love and support and keep doing this uh, keep liking the videos keep sharing them keep subscribing tell your friends to subscribe that way we can continue to support this channel and bring you more and more product reviews from different brands perfume reviews wash reviews pen reviews all sorts of fashion stuff and hope you guys enjoyed this one take care have a great new year ahead bye bye